Let's just start with some of the major topics that have been covered in Down to Earth this month. So the first is COP26 agenda. The world leaders met at Glasgow to initiate the various concepts and uh, the code was red for planet. So we must realize that how we need to combat this issue of climate emergency. So the first agenda did not talk about the reality of climate injustice, rather it was working more for the future. So principle of common but differentiated responsibility which we have covered in a separate lecture and the rich countries aiming to reduce the space for emerging world was some of the important topics we discussed. However, in the recent we have seen in the second agenda, we focused on net zero by 2050 and halving the emissions by 2030 as one of the major targets. The third agenda talked about the spotlight to China, how China is available for carbon budget in the coming decade and the intent to gain equivalence. The fourth agenda talked about discussions on uh, base mechanism, the effort to find creative ways to buy cheap emission uh, reductions from the developing nations. The fifth agenda talked about discussions on loss and damage. Uh, so this talked about mainly the losses, damages, polluters responsibility and the time for the polluters to pay. The next is the topic on uh, Cyclone Gulab. So this talked about uh, the origin which was in the month of October and November towards the Bay of Bengal and caused severe economic losses to Andhra Pradesh and Assam. Uh, we also have seen lots of uh, damage to the crops uh, and agriculture followed by it. Then we have Pinky Gupta who is uh, one of the fine Madhubani artists and the uh, concept of Tikli which has been derived from uh, the Bindi and there are various concepts related to sari designs which are the Venkatagiri sari uh, unique to Andhra Pradesh with this concept. The next is, uh, as we mentioned in the last uh, down to earth edition, there was an anomaly with the rainfall. This edition talked about abnormally high rainfall and that was what was witnessed in the month of September. A exceptionally higher amount of rainfall, nearly 35% higher than usual and this has led to a sudden surge in the vector borne diseases as well, probably in one of the next topics for discussion. And this uh, untimely rainfall has been uh, focused with the maiden julian oscillation which is the eastward moving uh, clouds and rains which cause uh, fluctuation in the uh, time scale and there is low pressure area which is also formed uh, so this uh, mgo we have covered in a separate lecture talking about next is the sustainable farming we are talking about rising crops crop prices and climate change worries. So with all these in hand, we need to have a sustainable farming mechanism. So what could be one of the best sustainable farming mechanisms and the best risk coverage must be taken into account. The next is compensation disaster. So uh, compensation for disaster has to be paid. Uh, this would eventually be seen when there is a crop failure and this compensation has been increased to 50% as per the recent guidelines. And these are the fixed compensation rates which would be given for a rain fed irrigated or a horticulture crop. The next is Ruyat Bandhu scheme. This is a state scheme for a safety net to farmers. Farmers get rupees 5000 per acre per season to purchase inputs which can be used for various land records. The corals uh, which is 14% of uh, the world has been lost in just one decade and there are various factors associated to it which could be disease, over tourism, changing climate, uh, poor coastal management, heat waves, excessive agricultural runoff, industrial waste and this has been one of the leading reasons for coral bleaching and we have seen that the beaches which are on the western India and the east tropical oceans have been relatively stable. However, we have seen uh, marginally in marginal increase in the uh, corals in the Caribbean and the Brazilian area. There has been a decline mainly in the West Asia and the Asia Pacific regions when it comes to coral. The status of coral reefs world 2020 report is released after nearly 13 years. It was released in 2008 and it is based on the global data obtained from various members stating that the world has now lost 14% of the total 
coral reefs so alan coral atlas is a online tool which is developed by arizona state university and us private enterprises and this talks about uh, the map reef extent which is supporting the various reefs uh, the next is bleaching so bleaching is another uh, important concept that we focus on and as we said due to severe uh, heat patterns rising changing salinity patterns there has been uh, changing uh, changes in the coral patterns and this has led to bleaching of the corals now there is a symbiotic relation between coral and algae who thrive on one another and due to uh, bleaching this leads there is a severe disease or starvation and this causes the uh, complete decay of the coral habitat the colors of the coral are lost and nearly twice as much corals on the reef as the algae before the last decade have been lost so there has been a significant bleaching issue which has been affected al nino which is the warm phase is again responsible for declining in the corals and corals is one of the regions which also support a lot of fishery activity and these fishery activities are again affected if coral bleaching occurs so anthropogenic pressures need to be reduced and this is one of the ways through which it can be sustained the next is fortified rice fortified rice has to be provided to uh, families and students in or in order to fight the malnutrition so in india a pan india roll out of fortified kernels and fortified rice has been started where fortification would involve breaking down the rice into powder and mi mixing it with micronutrients so india produces 150 tons of kernels and uh, 15000 tons of fortified rice in order to meet the requirement and this is a pilot initiative so the goal is first of all the roll out which has to be taken into account and then the doubts on the quality uh, the right production with adequate amount of moisture and micronutrients so moisture content in uh, has been found over the standard 18 to 20% and therefore has been affecting the next is turmeric uh, turmeric india is one of the largest producers curcumin is one of the major substance that imparts color to turmeric and it is a highly labor intensive crop which needs to be boiled dried and polished before it is sent to market however during the pandemic the uh, usage have significantly import imports have increased mainly from vietnam and then we have uh, the various uh, food processing industries where it is used it is used for flavor as a positive crop as an antiseptic germicidal it is used for respiratory and digestive problems healing quick healing uh, also it is used for uh, jointless patients then there are combinatorial therapies which are used for tb cancer and uh, malaria patients it is not a water intensive crop and is relatively cheap and safe to consume there are numerous therapeutic benefits associated to it it also has anti inflammatory properties to combat the cytokine storms and uh, there are uh, vegetables which are cooked with the, the haldi then they, the turmeric and the leaves are used uh, to wrap the food envelope which is mainly the fish and then it is either steamed or boiled it is also used for making uh, pickles uh, then it is also used as for zarda which is the sweet meatless pulao made in andhra pradesh so these are some of the common places where uh, haldi or turmeric is used it is also used in various rituals uh, haldi hath and uh, using it for basant panchmi are the common ways but there have been rising concerns the first is the concerns over infestation lack of irrigation and processing centers and also a good price for haldi so indian households are not able to get pure haldi there is lot of adulteration and a lot of it is also going into pharmaceutical and international markets even poor cannot afford it haldi uh, or harid it is basically a rhizome and has to be utilized it traveled to india from arab and uh, then it was uh, through the ayurveda uh, it traveled from india to arab and it was also mentioned in the ayurved of india Yeah, the various benefits of haldi uh, poor, Ma marco polo actually called it poor man saffron and then there are various rituals for example the morning ritual of mohram by the shia muslims require haldi 
there is zat e lazat uh, then uh, the yellow pulao rice uh, then the raw turmeric being used in adjuncts so those are some of the major uses which are seen uh, but there is toxic in uh, then we are talking about certain uh, waste piles and uh, hazardous waste so toxic heavy metals and organic contaminants mainly the pesticides have been increasing uh, uh, across india mainly in the regions of delhi mumbai kadappa in andhra pradesh and this kadappa state has recently been known for rising cases of diabetes rising cases of cancers all attributed to higher amount of contamination in the region higher amount of uh, domestic waste and uh, the waste issue which has been seen so the domestic waste management rule 2016 is important we need to understand where it defines the discarded paint drums pesticide can cfl batteries etc which are generated at the household level the rule leaves out cigarette butts and then there are various other uh, components which are used uh, there is also a extended producer responsibility that has to be taken into account then we have the indore municipal corporation uh, which has been working on a three way segregation and this segregation is basically the wet dry and hazardous domestic waste there is recyclable dry waste which is again uh, considered the wet waste is used for composting which is nearly 99% pure and bhopal segregates wet waste dry waste hazardous waste and sanitary waste separately also we need to find out good disposal sites better landfill uh, landfills and uh, using the facilities at their best uh, we have only one facility for the entire 12 states such as punjab and haryana so these facilities needs to be increased then we talk about the trips waiver so australia came out in support of the intellectual property rights by wto on vaccination treatment and diagnostic services australia has joined 100 other countries for limited waiver of intellectual property rights and these countries oppose uh, those countries who oppose to the waiver are basically uk U uh, european union switzerland norway and then we are focusing on next topic which is definitely employment in terms of precision so where we can find good employment opportunities manrega is one of the schemes which is released by government the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme talking about 100 days of minimum guaranteed employment and this would rescue the workers who have returned home during the time of pandemic uh, the gram panchayats would be receiving 70% of the funds and this could be used for activities like watershed agriculture social forestry horticulture sericulture animal husbandry this would not require any uh, instrumentation for use and would be solely based on human labor the next is environmental polarization china versus the rest of the world so china has become the new axis of life and time and there has been severe uh, polarization which has been seen and china has also become one of the cheapest factory by rich countries in the race to colonize the uh, trade so we want uh, that this should be one of the nations which should work on carbon control the emission control and therefore china has talked about carbon neutrality to be achieved by 2060 then we uh, celebrate 24th october uh, october as the international day for climate change and this is the time where we would say that the world uh, focuses on 2.4 degree celsius temperature by 2010 so that would be uh, the targets which have to be achieved the level should not go beyond it and then we classify the categories under insufficient the countries which are insufficiently meeting the targets for example uh, the commitments which are least stringent okay so these are child european union then where you have highly insufficient the commitments fall outside the fair range and these are argentina colombia canada china critically insufficient in thailand uh, singapore russia and saudi arabia and they are not consistent with the warming below 2 degree celsius and almost sufficient content with costa rica nigeria uk, uh, UK kenya ethiopia and here the warming should be held below if the government targets were within the range but not about 2 degree celsius now the list of the nobel prize for 2021 in chemistry it went to environment friendly molecules tool building in physics it was for climate model prediction in literature it was writing on 
on refugee crisis in peace it was mainly for freedom of speech and protection of it and in physiology it was on the work related to temperature and touch receptors some other important highlights so us has declared numerous species which are officially extinct and ivory billed woodpecker is the best known species in this list uh, also there has been a ban which has been brought in sikkim over the packed drinking water supply we have numerous pollution hotbeds which have been identified in green delhi we also understand that in denmark there has been plan to bind the country's farmers and forestry workers in order to reduce the greenhouse emission emissions by 55 and 65% respectively and this would be uh, the commitment to reduce the emissions by uh, 70% by 2030 so those are some of the important topics that have been covered we would be covering down to earth every fortnightly so stay tuned for numerous updates from our side wish you very good luck for your preparation and uh, the handouts for these would be available at exam race current affairs section you can go to down to earth yojana and kurukshetra separately to get into more details of each of the monthly uh, summaries that we bring for you all the summaries of down to earth yojana and kurukshetra are brought towards the month end so all those students who have query regarding it so check uh, check our channel somewhere between 25th to 30th of every month for these uh, summaries on yojana kurukshetra and both down to earth wish you very good luck have a great day ahead